All right, Josh here, and welcome to another Pokemon VGC 2019 team overview. Now, today we'll be going over the team that we're going to use on the channel for the next week and a half. Um, well, for you know the rem remainder of this week and next week. And this is also the team I took to my first regionals, which was Sheffield this past weekend. I also used it in the MSS the day after, and yeah, I, I really liked it. And I, the team, and I really liked going to the regionals. I had absolute fantastic time um if you've never been to a live event before i would strongly recommend it it's honestly great you, you will have a lot of fun i had so much fun um so yeah in the regional i went 4-3 which i was really happy with honestly um like i said the other day like i really had no expectations of, of doing well um but I was really, really, really happy to go positive, to be honest. Like, I, I started off the day, like, I won the first round, and then after round four, I was 1-3. Like, it went really downhill. The second the second round of the regional the, was, like, so intense. It went to the very end of the timer, and we were, I think he just won on the on the, on the the second the second turn of the, the timer rounds, like, out of three. Um, but it was a super intense set, like... It was the best. It was the best probably three games I've ever played in my life. It was like every single turn was like a, a massive read and could make or break the game. It was a super long defensive, well thought out game. It was fantastic. I loved that game. It was really really good. Like both of us at the end just looked, well, like when we shook hands we were both like oh my god I'm knackered like I'm so done like we were just so tired like it was really good fun. No, it was amazing though. It was a great round. But then after that yeah it went a bit downhill. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was 1-3 and then I managed to pull it back out. I, I won my last... I, I nearly just called it a day on the region and just thought I, I'll drop out and go and have a good dinner and, and just watch a bit. On. But um, I thought, no, you know what? I'll play out. Um, and I managed to pull back the last three rounds and go 4-3. So I was really chuffed with that. Um, so yeah, I, I, was, I was dead happy with that. And then the next day... Um, I finished 59th in the regional, I think it was. Um, the next day, I signed up for the MSS. Started off well with that, won the first round. I lost the second round. So I was 1-1. One, one. Then I went 2-1, two, 2-2. One, two, two. When I was 2-2, two, two, I, was, I was just like, I was so tired. I was like, oh, I can't do any more Pokemon. <laughs> but I thought, no, go on. Let's just play out. Let's just play out. And I ended up 4-2. Uh, then the last round, um, the last round was pretty crazy. So the seventh, the, the seventh round. So I, like I was basically playing for a potential top, like top sixteen spot, really, uh, of five two. Um, what happened? Oh, so the first game, I think they set up trick room. Um, but my my opponent did get a bit lucky in that because I set up my Xerneas for turn one, and he he did miss a few snarls under the trick room turns. That could have, you know, could have um, probably did matter a little bit. Um, but I managed to start the trick room and just finish off his team. The second game, I stalled out the trick room and I knew Salomon's was kind of like my win con and I had Salomon's in. Um, and on the last turn of trick room, his uh, Salomon's was on about, it was probably about 90 odd percent. Um, his Lunala Moon Guys beam crit my, um, crit my Salomon's. <laughs> and I was like, oh no! <laughs> like, so I lost that game. Um, but you know it, it happens. Like I lost that game off RNG. I won a few games off RNG in the in the, in the previous days, and you know there was RNG throughout the weekend, of course. Crits here and there, paralysis here and there. Thank you, Thunderous. Um, but you know um, it, it happens, doesn't it? Um, and then the last game, um, I managed to sort Trick Room twice, and then the last turn I kind of threw. A, I, I I did like I could have won, and I've. I'm kicking myself about it, and I, sh I shouldn't do. It. I, sh I should. I should get over it and forget about it, because you know it's. Just, it was just one of them. I'd, I'll just have to learn for the future. But like, I think he had Lu he had Lunala Finny, and I had Xerneas Salmons left. Uh, Xerneas was on like 30 HP. His Finny was on probably like high 30 percent, high 20 percent maybe. His Lunala was on about 30 percent as well. Anyway, I double edged the my Salmons was an egg one attack. I double edged the Lunala, and I moon blasted the Finny. The Finny survived and Icy Winded and yeah, he just got the um he got the Moongeist beam onto Mazernius KO'd it and then Moon blasted Mass Islands. Which gave him the game and the 5-2. In hindsight, I and we were talking about it afterwards, I should have double-edged the Finny and Moonblasted Lunala, but like 
I don't know. <laughs> I think my brain was just gone by then. Like, it is so intense. Like, I had the best time playing. Um, it's so different to playing at home. Like, when you're sat at home just playing, like... Like, if I'm sat recording just playing that, you know, I'm talking to you. Built up. I was just saying talking to you guys. I'm kind of talking to myself in a weird sort of way. Aren't I? <laughs> I was just sat talking. Um... You know, I think about it, but I'm not like super focused. Um, same on Showdown, usually I'm just clicking buttons and I'm like, oh, paying attention, talking to Missy's watching a film or something while playing Showdown. Um, but in the tournament, you're just kind of like, you're so focused in it. It's, it's ace, I, lo I loved it. Like, I just put my headphones on, then my little notepad, and I just kind of focused and thought about everything. And I, overall, like, I was really happy with, with, with how I played. Um, I was really scared of playing Rayoga, and I played a lot of Rayoga, probably about seven or eight Rayoga teams. I managed to probably only lose against like one of them, um, or, which was pretty crazy because I thought that was like my worst matchup. Especially one, there was one team, right? Look at this team now. And I, I, pl I played a team that was Rayoga with Mega Gengar. The Mega Gengar had Hidden Power Water. <laughs> Terrifying. Um, he also had a Stack Attacker, which was Trick Room and Skill Swap, which meant that and the cargo was slower than my Groudon in Trick Room, and it was Shookerberry, so it meant that Groudon couldn't really do anything about it either. Um, it, And somehow I won that round. Like, I, I still don't understand how I managed to beat that team, but I did. Um, so I'm, I'm super, super happy with how the weekend went in general. Like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy about going positive in both, really. I'm, I'm dead chuffed. Um, it was ace. I've got a real taste for playing live events now. Like, I really want to go to more. Super, it was so good. Really enjoyed it. Everyone was so nice as well. Like, it, like I didn't have, like... Nobody was rude or, or horrible or anything. Everyone was just super lovely. Like, shaking hands. And if there was, like, a crit or some RNG or something, then, you know, it's like, ah, oh, well, you know, it happens. Which, you know, which I was like as well. I was like, oh, well, you know. I remember was like, oh, never mind. You know, it's like... Everyone was like super like fine about it. I remember one guy even laughing about it, a certain situation, but like I, I'll uh, I like well not like laughing, but he was like super I, like I don't know. I'll like explain that later when we talk about teams. It was quite funny that actually. Um, and yeah, it was just everyone was so nice. Like everyone, like, people that came and said hello because I went by myself and like I ended up hanging around with a group at the end, and it was just like the um, hanging around with people and stuff. So. It was just great. Uh, thank you to all those people that hung around with me and, and spoke to me and all that. So you know who you are. Um, yeah, thanks. And it was just, it was just good. It was just a really good experience. Like I'm definitely 100% going to more. So now I've talked about how much fun I had. Let's talk about the actual team because that's what this video was supposed to be, and I'm not doing it. Um, so I signed up for Sheffield three weeks before. I, that was the week I went recording, so I didn't really have time to do anything that week. Um, but I knew I wanted to use Xerneas, so I was like, I'm using Xerneas. Um, so, yeah, Xerneas was the first, first thing. The first thing. I originally wanted to use X-Ray. Um, but that didn't happen. Um, I, I used X-Ray for like a week and a half, actually. Like, I was messing around with it, but I, something wasn't sitting right with me, and I was really struggling laddering with it for some reason. Um... I don't know why, I don't know what it was. Maybe if I took it, it would have been alright, but like... I couldn't quite get it right, and then... Last Tuesday when I recorded like last week's episodes, the past, like, the Wednesday and Friday's episode of the Battlespot series... We used Xerneas Groudon, and... We did alright in those last two episodes, and I was like... Maybe I should just use Xerneas Groudon, like, I know it's pretty standard, and I did use, I, I mean, looking at my team, it, it is fairly standard. I did try and change it a little bit so he wasn't as, like, put a few quirks on it to maybe throw people, you know, or just to get, like, a bit of an upper hand to what people would expect. Um, but I was like, I am quite comfortable using Xerneas Groudon, it's an archetype that I, is obvious and people know how to play against it, but that I do like, and I do like playing it, and I kind of know how to play it somewhat. Um, so I thought I'd go with that. So, yeah, I started off with Xerneas. The Xerneas spread is a bit different to what I've been using for most of the season. Most of the season I've been using Modest, which I am still am, and Bulky, which I still am, but quite slow. And I'm honestly, I, I, I just kind of got sick of being outsped by Max Speed, Adam and Groudons, and Max Speed, Modest Kyogres, getting a huge chunk of damage off before I could Geomancy. So, I did alter the spread so I, I but the first thing I did was put 
enough speed to outspeed max speed um, modest and jolt modest and adamant kyogres and and um groudons so that's what speed's for i still wanted the bulk so i just went right chucked it all in hp max hp and then i obviously put a point in defense i put 12 in special attack why did i do that i think just because fall wrong so i should put 12 in I, I genuinely don't know what that was for now it probably was for something but i can't remember um and then uh, the rest literally just went in special defense whoops the rest went in special defense so and obviously we're running the power with the classic kind of move set and then obviously the next uh, partner for the xerneas would be the groudon um I did change my spread of this as well. I like this better than my other one, I think. The same with the Xerneas, actually. I think I prefer them. Um, I don't know why I was using those. Uh, this last one wasn't too bad either. Um, so we are adamant. Uh, protect. I really like having Sword Stance. It's so handy. Fire Punch and Press with Blades. Press with Blades actually really well behaved this weekend for me. I think it only missed once or... No. T two or three times. Three times max, honestly. It was... It was, it was a it was a very good ground and well done, well done ground, well behaved. Um, so for speed, that was the next thing. I went full HP instantly. I uh, put the point in defense. Um, the special defense was for to live a menacing moon raised maelstrom from the old Lunala, um, so I can live that, which is nice. Uh, the speed was for to outspeed. Now my old ground had speed for Tailwind, but this team doesn't have Tailwind, which I'll go into shortly. Um, so I thought, okay, I can't have that anymore. But I still wanted to run a faster ground on. Um, so the speed was for outspeeding Mega Ray. If Mega Ray was at Neg 1 um, after an Icy Wind, basically. Um, so that was, that. yeah, that's what the speed was for, basically. Um, and honestly, there was only one time where my opponent's ground on was faster than mine. Um, which is that game that I lost 0 to. Like, it was just a really... Did I mention that? I can't remember. I can't remember if I mentioned that game, but I, I, I had a really rough matchup against someone. They had like double fake out and double intimidate, and there's a, they were running Zernius Crown as well, but Mega Kang and Incinero, like Z Landorus. It was really, and but Landorus had Earth Power as well, so it was just like a mixed one. Like it was really difficult to, to navigate around. His, his Groudon was faster than mine as well, so I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it was really, really rough. Um, so yeah, but all the other games, um, my Groudon outsped opponent's Groudons, which was really handy. Um, let's get the Prespice Blades off first, so that was really good. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with this spread. And obviously I just chucked the rest into, um, put the classic point in defence and then chucked the rest into attack. Um, but yeah, it was alright, it was good. Um, next up, this is where I started changing things around. I know we haven't got to tap, actually, I should get to tap Infinity first. Sorry, I've gone too far ahead. Tap Infinity, I knew I wanted to run Berry, I've always liked running Calm. Um, so the move set, I knew I wanted Heal Pulse for Xerneas. Um, I knew I wanted Icy Wind, it's probably my favourite move. I love, I really love, I, I don't think I've, have I ever had a team without Icy Wind? Probably, but I, I don't feel comfortable if the team's not got Icy Wind, so I really like to have an Icy Wind. Um, Nature's Madness was a bit of one I wasn't sure about running. I did miss a couple, um, which was a bit frustrating, but like, most of the time it did hit um and gravity was one because i was like right if i'm running primal ground on there's no way i'm not taking gravity because i don't want to miss crash place even though i didn't really sell i think i set up gravity like once or twice and in hindsight i kind of wish i had taunt i really there was a few times i really wanted taunt and i didn't have it like i used to run taunt for me and i needed it and i didn't have it but i did like having the option of gravity just in case so the spread um Went for that HP stat, not 252 because with this you get, you know, two super fangs and the berry procs, um, which is good. The speed, this is the fastest Tapu Fini I've ever ran. It was purely to be faster than my Groudon. I wanted that speed on the Groudon for the Ray thing. Um, so say I did get, an, if I protected Groudon and got an icy wind off on the Ray, I could then gravity and press with blades it. Potentially, you know, I might get it at that point. Um, so Finney did have to be faster than Groudon. I could also heal pulse Groudon if I had to. Heal pulse Xerneas. Obviously Xerneas is faster, but yeah. Then I went 76 in special defense. I can't remember why I went. To... Oh yeah. I, 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 basically, I, I, I think I've had 76 in quite a few times. It's basically like the first like jump. So like if you watch the numbers go up, they go up by one, 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 and then two. 
and goes from 74 to so it was like the first jump kind of thing and then i just put the rest in defense i've got two intimidators so i wasn't too bothered about that but yeah finney did really well in the tournament just kind of stuck around was annoying um which is what i wanted to do just kind of disrupt things half things my opponent set up trick for him i could like survive attacks and just half things had a few clutch survivals with finney as well icy wind was a problem for people so that was good uh next up yeah mega salmons so I really like Mega Salmon's Xerneas Groudon. Oh, it's a bit of a classic, isn't it? So I, I knew I wanted to be max um, speed. I've always I've been running hasty with this special attack stat, and then I think the rest was just in attack. Um, so I decided to change that a little bit because, well, I was comfortable with the special attack stat, and I didn't want to change it because I click Hyper Voice quite a lot, especially against Primal Groudon. And I'm kind of used to how much damage it does, so I thought if I knock it down, it's going to throw my mind a little bit. So I thought, I'm keeping that. I drop the attack. Um, I think it's just enough to take to make sure that I KO Oko, um, like Tapu Lele, with 1 point in HP. Um, obviously after an Icy Wind or something, um, if it's Scarf. And then the rest, I literally just put a, class, you know, a point in Special Defense, and then the rest are just chucked in HP. Um... So yeah, the move set I suppose is a bit interesting. So I've dropped Tailwind. Um, we've got obviously mixed a double edged high voice, but we've dropped Tailwind for Earthquake, um, specifically for Nihiligo, Nihilego, whatever you want to call it. What do I, what do I call it? I, I always mix up what I call it. Nihilego, I like call it. Um, it was for that, and it, it did come in handy. I'll actually talk about that in a minute actually because it, it pairs with a, 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 a thunderous story. So yeah, Earthquake was actually re actually. I think I've just thought of another one, but it was really clutch as well. Um, so Earthquake was actually good. The only time, again, the only time I missed Tailwind was against against that team that I went 0 2 against. Um, I remember him saying to me afterwards, the guy said, He said, Oh, he said, You know, I, you could have had that game if you'd Tailwinded this turn. I was like, Yeah, I know, but I didn't have Tailwind. <laughs> and it, I was like, Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the one game where I wish I had Tailwind. All the other times, like, I was quite happy with Salmon's um, as it was, so that was good. Incineroar was um, very standard AV spread, the absolute classic. Figgy Berry, I like 50% Berry. Um, fake Out Snarl, I like having Snarl, you turn as well. And then I decided to drop Flare Blitz for Throat Chop, purely for Raw. And it could have come in handy. Oh, again, is this. I don't know why this game keeps coming on. Zero 2 game. So he had a Xerneas set. No, he had. I set up my Xerneas game too, I think. And. He had Groudon and Kangaskhan out, and I was like, okay, this is fine. And I had Incineroar out, the Groudon was intimidated twice, I think, and I was like, and the, and the Kangaskhan was intimidated, so I was like, okay, this is fine. I, I set up Ge Geomancy, and I'll throat chop the Kangaskhan. Because, you know, like, with the, there's that classic ish team with, like, a classic, it's not really classic, I suppose, but, like, where the Kangaskhan has Roar, and I throat chopped the Kangaskhan, <laughs> and the Groudon had Roar, and I was like, oh, no, <laughs> like, I meant to go the other way around. Um, but throat chop. I used it a few times. To be honest, I didn't use it that much. Um, it was mainly for, like I said, p the potential roar if I saw it, and um, if I broke the shadow shit on Lunala, obviously it did a huge chunk most of the time. You know, just KO'd it from there. So that, as long as I wasn't intimidated, that was actually it was it was nice for that. I've got to say. So I had those five earlier in the week. I think on Wednesday night I was quite settled with running those five with those spreads. And I was like, okay, I need one more Pokemon. And I was like, uh, I'll just run a Moongus or something with redirection, like Smig or something. But then, then I realised, I was like, wait a minute, I don't, I don't have a Z move. I was like, I can't run any of those redirection ones because they're just gonna die, and I won't have a Z move. Um, and I was like, oh god. So on Thursday morning at work, bear in mind I was going to the um, the tournament on Friday night. Thursday morning at work, I was thinking of electric types. And I was also thinking, like, okay, I've got Earthquake on Salmon, so I don't want to use that against Nihiligo, but, like, I can't Earthquake against anything. I mean, I can Earthquake against my own Tapu Finny and maybe Xerneas, but I definitely, I don't really want to do it against Xerneas. Finny, not too bad, but I definitely don't want to do it against Incineroar or Groudon, because that'll do, you know, decent damage. It's not going to do a ton, because it's not, not, you know, it's not stab, I've not got a ton of investment. But it will do damage I don't want to take. And that's when I thought of... My tournament saviour, Thunderous. I'm still level 100. Um, this thing was an absolute pain to, to play against. I think in the tournament, people, a world of people said afterwards, like, 
yeah, Thunderous was just super annoying, and I was super scared of it. And I was like, I know. <laughs> it was so good. So when Electrum Z, um, obviously with Prankster, I have the potential to thaunt, taunt, thaunt, taunt things. I did want Protect. Protect came in handy quite a few times. Obviously, I had Thunder Wave, which was the absolute best of the best and um, Thunder was the other move to go off Electrium Z just to make it stronger Thunderbolt didn't quite cut it the spread obviously I went full at speed and um, so at least I was speed tying taunts with Tornadus um, which, honestly that was mainly what that was for like I didn't, want, didn't really want to go any slower um, the special defense and HP I can't remember because I did it really quick but I think it was enough to live like a neg one don't hold me to this, but it was enough to live like a, a Neg 1 Choice Band Dragon Ascent, I think. Or oh, it might have been a Neg 1 Life Orb Dragon Ascent. It was something. It was to live something, and to live something, it might have been something Xerneas-y, to live it at plus one special events. Because not only does Electrum Z Thunder, I think after the 116, 116 and the point in defense, I just literally took the rest in the special attack. Um, it did have a good chance to KO Noble Kyogre Z Thunder. Um, or it, did, it was guaranteed on Noble Kyogre, I can't remember. Um, and I did Oko quite a few Kyogres with, um, with Z Thunder. But you can also use Z Thunder Wave, which is a plus one in special defense. And obviously a paralysis if you hit it, um, which is, <laughs> which actually came in handy quite a few times in Trick Room especially. And, and one time someone did actually taunt my Thunderous um, to stop me Thunder Waving, and I just I just Z Thunder Waved instead, <laughs> which was really funny, and got the boost. I lived a Kyogre Water Spout with like fairly deep, like about half, so that was like I don't think they expected that. So actually that was quite clutch as well. Obviously I don't want to bring Thunderous and Finny to the same games. Um, I have to be careful of that. But, oh yeah, this was this thing I was talking about before. So there was one game, I think on the MSS, where my opponent led, I led Salmon's Thunderous, which I led so much for some reason. I don't know why, I kept I led that quite a lot. It was a really weird leap, but it kept working. Um, and they led Nihiligo Finny. And I literally just earthquaked and Z-Thundered and got like a double KO turn one. <laughs> that was a really good turn. Um, I remember another one where my opponent, I think the first game I Z'd, into the Kyogre protecting, but the second game they didn't protect, and I just do code it with Z, with Electric Z. I thought, you know what, they might not protect this time, they might get a bit cheeky, but I'm, so I'm gonna go for it again. And yeah, that was funny. Um, there was one game in, in day one, I think it was when I was 2-3, uh, it was to go 3-3. Three, three. I played this guy, I can't remember, I, can't remember if, I think he was from Belgium, super nice guy, like the nicest guy ever. Um, and I, I paralyzed his Rayquaza, and it came down to the last turn of game three. We were 1-1, one, one. Uh, obviously, if it was game three. And um, it literally came down to the last turn. Like, I had, my Salmons was on about, I had barely any HP left. And it basically came down to if his Rayquaza got paralyzed while going for extreme speed. I knew he had to go for extreme speed to win. Like, if I got a hyper voice off, I won. And yeah, he went for extreme speed and got paralyzed. And we, he, he was just like, oh, no, he was just like laughing though, and he was like smiling, and we were talking about it, he was like, yeah, but it's the game, like, you know, you, you thunder waved on purpose, you know, you, you did that, you know, intentionally, it wasn't like a completely random, like a crit or something, like, super nice, we were chatting for ages, real nice guy, um, so yeah, I, I like how, like I said before, people were in great spirits, and, and honestly, Thunderous was the real MVP of this team, it really saved me. And I tell you what it saved me against. It's because this team, I said it struggled against um, Ray Ogre, but Thunderous really helps that matchup. It threatens Kyogre so much. Thunder Wave, I mean, just Thunder Wave. Ray Quas are intimidated to death. Thunder Wave, the Mega Gengar. Um, taunt the Mega Gengar, so no Perry's trap. It was really, really good. Thunderous was ace. It was the MVP. Um, so, yeah, I really like this team overall. It did. Really good. It did. It did. It did better than I expected. Um, especially because uh, I don't know if I said like the night before. The, so the Friday night when I got to the hotel, about half eleven at night, I was going to go to. I was getting ready to go to sleep, and I was like, actually, maybe I'll play a few games of Showdown. Mistake. I was up till about one playing, and I was getting decked. I think. I think I won in about an hour and a half on Showdown. I think I won one game for this team, and I was like, oh my god, am I actually running this tomorrow? I was like, oh my god, like I was like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lose, but I don't know. It in best of three it was it was it was able to adjust. Like I said, there was only one round where I got beat where I didn't take a game off someone at least, so it was adjustable and um, 
I don't think it's a great laddering team, but I think it's a fairly decent best of three team. Um, like I said, it's probably not without its flaws. I imagine this spread could probably be adjusted. Same with the Mega Salmon, so I should probably... I don't know if the HP is necessary. I could probably just chuck it all back into special attack, really, but... I did have Salmon's liver, liver a couple of times on a, a few hit points, like three or four, so... You know, that actually could have, <laughs> that could have actually, you know, done it for me. I really liked the Finny spread. And I liked the Xerneas and Groudon spread as well. Instant Noir was just, you know, just did Instant Noir things, but Thunderous was, uh... was fantastic. I didn't see it. Well, I, I did see someone else use Thunderous, but it was the other Thunderous. Um, but yeah, I, this is probably the longest team overview I've ever done, obviously, because we've been talking about Sheffield as well. So, thank you very much for watching. I don't know if there's going to be a BGC Battle episode going up today, or I'll try and put it up tomorrow. And I'll try and do one Thursday, Friday, and for Monday as well. I'll do my best. I've got to work this weekend, so I, I don't know if I'll... I'll, I'll, try, I'll do my best to get some some episodes up for this for the rest of this week and try and make up for the fact we missed one Monday. Obviously, I'll try and get this one up tonight as well if we've got time. And yes, I'll stop talking about that. Cheers for watching. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all in a bit.